A man is rushed to the emergency room after getting stuck by what appeared to be a drug needle. The man says it happened this morning by a dumpster near JTB and Phillips Highway. News for Jackson reporter Corley Peel joins us live now to show us how it happened. The man says he was taking out the trash when the needle stuck his hand. He says he is now on antibiotics to make sure he doesn't get sick or infected by the needle. This is the needle a man took to the hospital with him after he says it poked his hand this afternoon. The man wants to remain anonymous. Yeah, he said it was a drug needle. It has residue in it still. He says he was taking up the trash at a dumpster near JTB and Phillips Highway when he noticed a pillowcase and other garbage around the dumpster he decided to pick up. He said the needle was in the pillowcase. I grabbed it on the bottom and I, everything spilled out. So I just went to picking it up, putting it back in the dumpster. And I guess there was a needle in a, in a plastic bag. And it just popped me, like poked me in my hand. A needle wasn't the only drug paraphernalia he says he found in the pillowcase. Orange needle caps and drug paraphernalia, dope pipes and women's clothes. He is now taking medication to treat the needle incident. Uh, I had to get my blood drawn. And I got to take this HIV medication that cost like $4,000. The man says he's hoping this incident doesn't lead to long-term health issues. This is the second needle incident we've had in our area recently. Just last week, a man told us that he, had, he got his foot stuck by a needle in a, in a Jacksonville Beach hotel room, and he had to receive medical treatment. The man I spoke with tonight says that he's hoping that these incidents will bring awareness of the drug issues in our community. Reporting live, Corley Peel, Channel 4, The Local Station.